Welcome back to G-Ball Vision, everyone. Thank you for stopping in. Today, we're taking a look at some newer, affordable EDC knives that I have been very impressed with. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed here to the channel. I'd love to have you hit that thumbs up button. It really helps push the video out there so more people have a chance to take a look at it. Let me know what you are carrying in your pockets today down in the comments. Love hearing from you and what you're carrying for the day. So the first knife we're taking a look at is the newly released Kaiser Assassin crossbar lock version in Nitro V. Beautiful satin finish, drop point blade. You have dull thumb studs for deployment. Nice row of jimping there. If you liked the drop bear but wished it had a different drop point style blade, this would be a great option. I know a lot of people... We're hooting and hollering about this one over the drop bear just because of the style of drop point and the design of the handle in comparison to the drop bear. But I can definitely see this won't ever probably be as popular as the drop bear, but I can definitely see this being a very good contender for the drop bear. It is really well done. It's going to be coming in several different handle materials. This is like a G10 and carbon fiber silver twill overlay. I like it. It looks good. It feels good. Uh, and best of all, it's very inexpensive, nice steel deep carry rollover clip, and it is going to be reversible. I will have all of these knives linked down below in the description. Those do help out the channel if you use them, but that is up to you if you want to do so. Next up, I have been really impressed with Migron and ultra impressed with the Galati here. 14C 28N drop point blade with a satin finish, nice full choil, cutout and rear flipper for deployment, nicely tuned detent, uh, micarta for our handle material, very nice micarta, great access with a chamfer to the liner, a beautifully redone milled titanium pocket clip. And we have a matching G10 backspacer. And these are coming in at like $50. $50 for a solid, well-made, fun, fidgety EDC knife. With a milled tie clip and some beautiful micarta. $50. Bucks. Absolutely insane. Megaron continues to throw haymaker after haymaker. And they are landing them bad boys. Another company that's creeping right up behind Migron if they keep doing what they've been doing, and that is Tenable. This is going to be the anomaly here. We have a Nitro V black wash Tanto blade. Flipper tab for deployment. Nice and snappy on that detent. We have some really cool frag textured micarta here. Flipper for deployment, deep carry clip here, and that is not going to be reversible on this model here, but I look for Tenable to start doing ambidextrous models in the future. I think at this point, they're just trying to get stuff off the ground, but I look for them to have a big year in 2025. Now we got something very similar to the Galati until you open it up the Civivi nugs here we have a beautiful satin finished modified sheep's foot style blade this is going to be a wear knives design fantastic 14c beautiful micarta micarta backspacer to match and we have a steel milled clip I thought Civivi had made the turn and they were going to start offering milled clips on their more affordable knives. Could you imagine if that was a milled tie clip? That would just be amazing. Good access to the liner there. Jimping on that liner. Great action. Nice detent. So you could ultimately have a fantastic one-two punch with both of these knives. Match your knives as well and stay right around a hundred bucks and this would cover everything you could need to do with a folding knife uh, between those two right there but the Civivi Nugs has definitely worked its way into my top favorite Civivis no question 
The real steel velour here really surprised me. Uh, real steel all year has been doing a phenomenal job and been putting out some really solid folding knives, slip joints, fixed blades, you name it. They've been putting it out all year and just doing a really solid job. This is still breaking in, but it has a nice snappy detent. We're looking at Nitro V. Beautiful pokey drop point blade with a black wash finish bunch of different options when it comes to the g10 color love the hardware nice and simple body screw pivot screw and then we have pins here two clip screws for that recessed pocket clip we have great access with a chamfer and jimping on the liner and these here again are going to come in around that 60 dollars price point absolutely fantastic knife right here if you're looking for that pokey stabby folder you know what i'm saying this will be a really good option for you this knife I, I gotta put it in here just it's really impressive the fintizo apollo they have a several different knives and they are all fantastic i have videos on several of their knives I'll try to link those in the description as well. Uh, some of the unboxings for some of these knives. But Fintizo's putting out a phenomenal value. 14C, coated blade, modified drop point, modified sheep's foot style blade, fuller into a cutout with a rear flipper tab. Nice detent, great sharpening choil. Almost can double as a little mini finger choil there. We have contoured and semi-textured aluminum handles here. You can kind of see the, the sparkle it has. It's got a nice texture to it. We have a lower mounted deep carry clip here. Going to be right hand only. And these are going to come in at a great price. I've used this quite a bit since getting it. And it just does great. Great access to that liner. Nice big chamfer. Fintizo, if they keep up what they are doing as well, they definitely have a very, very bright future. Next up, we have the CJRB Nova. We have a satin finished Harpoon Tanto Dull Ground RPM 9 blade. And we don't see a ton. We're starting to see more uh, satin finishes from CJRB, but I enjoy their satin finish. They do a good job. Textured G10 handles here, liner lock for our locking mechanism. Nice, strong detent. Uh, thumb studs are placed well and done well. Love the reverse flick. We have a nice minimal deep carry clip that's been recessed along with the screws. And it is going to be reversible for our left-handed brothers and sisters. It's not recessed. That's my fault. I thought it was. It's surface mounted with recessed screws. And these are going to come in at like 50 bucks as well. Really, really like this knife. The AES from CGRB that recently came out. That is a good budget offering. And then, of course, the new pyrites that they're dropping are all fantastic but there is seven knives for you that have come out very recently and i find them to be very well done very good price and some of the latest and greatest affordable edc knives that have come out over the last couple of weeks i'll try to keep doing this uh once or twice a week and incorporating just different knives old new cheap, expensive, and just keep rolling with the punches. That way we can get as many knives out there for people to see as possible. Let me know what you thought of the video. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the thumbs down if you hated it. And let me know why you hated it. But for everyone else, hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, we release knife and EDC content every single day multiple times a day hit the subscribe button ring the bell i'd love to have you here i'll put up a couple of new videos go check one of them out have yourself an awesome day thank you all again for watching i will catch you on the next one